internet. It is Tuesday, the 3rd of January, 2017. The kids are at tennis. And it's babysitting day. It's babysitting grandma. time for grandma. How are you, Portia? Portia's got a snotty nose today. Oh, lovely hat though. She's got a Mickey Mouse hat on, haven't you? And I am going down for a swim. Beach is popular today, third day of the year. Holiday makers, beach goers, revelers. There's a rather large pot of dolphins out there too. And I don't mean dolphins of a big size, I just mean a lot of dolphins in the one pod. Beautiful. That's awesome, some shore dumpers like that. Get in there, you stick your head in the curl. It's great fun. Get so much water in your ears. So refreshing though. Unfortunately, there is not going to be a sunset this evening in Kalbara Beach. It's cloudy, windy, and it's raining a little bit too. Instead, I'm going to have a wine on the balcony. I'm at Crookhaven Heads, right at the peninsula, at a high tide. These birds are not impressed with me being here, that's for certain. They're squawking and crazy, they've all flown around. Probably their nesting area. Well, I've got a bottle of Lagavulin, 16 year old. I'm not drinking this. It's gonna be my message in a bottle number 11. Probably gonna be one of the most unique places I'll do a message in a bottle because anyone who's anyone knows that you're not to go anywhere near the edge of the rocks, especially at a high tide like it is now. So I'm gonna just, make my message in a bottle and I'm gonna pretty much just dump it in here and let the tide meander itself through. Hopefully it doesn't get cracked on a rock but I'm not going near the edges. I might be stupid in many other ways but I'm not that stupid when it comes to the ocean. Now I knew that I was gonna do this so I rewrote, I pre-wrote this letter back at home or back at mum's place. Hello, my name is Benon Julius William Otto Kirbsch and I put this note into this bottle and threw it into the sea on the 4th of January, 2017. I launched it from the Crookhaven Heads headland. This area right here. It is not a note for any other purpose, but to see how far a message in a bottle will travel in the ocean. I have a YouTube channel called Gives A Minutes, where I make vlogs. The one where I did this will be vlog number episode 106. Vlog number episode? If you find this, please get in touch and let me know where and when you found it. The YouTube link is on the sticker I've included in this bottle. Thanks. Ben on XXX000 or 000. And I'm also going to include a couple of Gives a Minute stickers, which has the URL there to get to the YouTube channel. Pop that in there and some stickers. Now, as usual, I've got a little bit of super glue. Seal this bugger up. By the way, that's my favorite whiskey in the world, Lagavulin. It's definitely on the smoky side. If you don't like your smoky whiskies, you will not like this, but I love my smoky whiskies, so I do enjoy uh, Lagavulin. The only thing left to do is to lob this into the ocean for social science. I'm not gonna lob it into the ocean. This time I'm gonna place it in.
Fingers crossed that gets out to the ocean. I've already lost track of it. I got it, I got it, I got it. It went around that rock. By the way, if you want to uh, check out any of my other Message in a Bottles, I've already made playlists of all 10 of them. There'll now be 11. So I'll put that little thing up the top and if you hit that, you'll go to the playlist which contains the very first Message in a Bottle, then the second one, and then when I decided that I'd do them all over the world, because I've done them twice across the English Channel, Germany, in Die Elbe, in Dresden, locally in Sydney, I've done them locally in Como, I've done them down here before, one in Seattle, and two of them have been found, so that's pretty sweet. If you want to have a look at that, it's all in the playlist. The second one that was found in Seattle, the people that found it sent me a message, and that's it. They didn't send me a photo, didn't send me anything. Well, this is a great spot. This would be a fantastic spot to do a time lapse. All over there, what's... That's Comrong Island, and some gnarly clouds on the back there. I think this would be a perfect spot to get out the iPad and do a time lapse on that. But hang on a second, how would I hold that iPad? Well, cut the crap. What I'm gonna hold the iPad with is a Joby Griptide Pro tablet, which is this guy here. And I talk a lot about this to the new people on my channel, the new subscribers. Thank you so much for hitting the subscribe button. You might not have seen this rambling that I've been doing a lot of lately. I'm giving one of these away when my channel gets to 500 subs. I think we're at 360 or something now. When we hit 500, I've got one of these from Joby, not this guy, it's completely boxed up, brand new, to give away. What this is, is a flexible tripod, two-piece mount to hold your iPad or tablet while you do a time-lapse, or while you vlog with it. If you want to vlog with it, you can hold it that way as well. I do it a bit. I'll show you how it works, and then I'll do a time-lapse with it. So like I said, two pieces. This guy and this guy, they screw together very simply like that. Once it's screwed together, you loosen this screw, you lift this up. In that space that you've just created goes your tablet. Mine is a iPad Pro 9.5 inch. Tighten everything back up, then you have legs to manipulate, and there it is, nice steady time-lapse mount from the Joby Griptide Pro tablet. Now, I'm gonna shoot this time-lapse over there, under here is going to be nice because it's out of the wind. I decided to move it slightly around the corner. Less wind and under the shade of the uh, little rock face there to keep the iPad from overheating because if it's in direct sunlight, there's a chance of it overheat. By the way, one day I'm going to go to Comorong Island. Looks like a pretty long, vast beach and I'd love to get on that beach and run around naked. So that time lapse has been cranking for about an hour now. <laughs> So yeah, one hour for this time lapse. Uh, we'll condense the time down to whatever it takes to make the time lapse look good. Here it is now. And that's it. So if you want a Joby Griptite Pro tablet, help my channel get to 500 subs and one person at random will win this guy, not this exact one, but a brand new one, and you can get time lapses just like that. <laughs> I don't know what he's been eating, but he's pretty crazy. Look at this. This is perfect. We're definitely going to see a rad sunset tonight. I've, I've done that. Feeling. Look at this. Well, that was an awesome sunset and we saw a few dolphins bouncing around as well. That was pretty awesome. We didn't expect that. We've been hanging for a sunset since we've been here. We kind of got somewhat of a half decent one New Year's Eve, but this one kicked its ass. It was so rad to see. And just as, as it was happening, a guy in a boat called 
dolphin sunset cruises came past and he offered to take the kids for a quick run back to the marina. So that's what we're going to do right now. Oh, that's um, we're, we're out of time. time. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel called Gives a Minute. If you liked it, please subscribe. If you're a photographer, check out my Lightroom 6 presets. Check out the previous minute there, a random minute there. Hey, it's not raining in here. That was um.